Oh, I'm so excited for today's video. <laughs> Hello loves and welcome back. My name's Angelique if you are new here. Today we are decorating for Christmas. Christmas is absolutely my favorite time of year. I love the decorations. I just love how happy the music is, just the movies, everything about it. I just freaking love Christmas. And since this year is a little weird anyway, I'm gonna decorate early. Now I realize it's the middle of November, but who cares? And to be honest, I'm really excited to be decorating early because last year I kind of decorated a little late because it was our first time decorating for Christmas and I didn't have all the decorations so I had to go buy everything. And so this year I have it all and I'm excited to get it up and decorate it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna see how much we get done, but it'll probably be a two-part video just because I don't know if I'm gonna put everything up yet or do it in phases. So I'm gonna go through the bins, see what I got, and then as you guys saw my last video, I did a Christmas decor haul of all the new stuff I got, so I'm gonna make sure everything goes together, complements each other, and make sure I don't have two of anything because that sounds like something I might do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start decorating for Christmas. I just had Sawyer help me pull out all the bins from the shed. So this is everything that I have so far. I have some wreaths, I have a box of garland, I have decorations, and I think this is like some ornaments. So I'm just gonna open up the boxes, see what we got, and start decorating. Who else is excited? Okay. I forgot how much cute little things we got. I don't even know where to begin. I kind of feel overwhelmed, you know? Oh my gosh. Also, I might need to reference some of my photos or videos from last year to see how I actually put everything together. But I think we should start with just putting up the wreaths and then I can get these boxes out. But I definitely know where the wreaths go. So let's start there. Let's see how I attached it. Okay, so here is our front door wreath. This is actually Sawyer's at his old apartment, um, and it ended up working really, really well. So he's from Florida, which is obviously by the beach, and I'm from Utah. So <laughs> at first when I saw this wreath with like all the seashells, I'm like, who decorates with seashells for Christmas? But now that I live by the beach, I do. Um, not all the time, I incorporate it into things. So I actually might um, add to this one a little bit this year. Don't know how yet, but now that I'm decorating early enough, I'll be able to, you know, adjust things or add to. So let's go ahead and take off the old wreath. Okay, the wreath is hung. I don't know why that was so hard. Yeah, I might switch up the ribbons, add it to this a little bit. I feel like it needs a little something. But I love the seashells. Um, yeah, all right, let's move on. First Christmas decoration. All right, the next wreath I have goes in the kitchen. This is the one for the kitchen. Um, I got it last year. Um, it definitely needs to be fluffed up, so let me, let me get it hung and then we can jazz it up. This wreath. I forgot how much I liked it. So I think I'm going to put the garland up next. Aha. Okay, so that goes over here. I absolutely love this garland. I got it at Target last year. They have the same collection this year, which is nice because I actually grabbed two more strands to hang from the front banister. So I'll do that outside in a little bit. But let's see how this goes. How did I do this? the most gorgeous garland ever. Yay, okay, there's garland around the mirror. Oh, this makes me so happy. Okay, let's do the garland on the TV next, and then this box is done. Love that. Alrighty, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Boom. Garland placed. 
Should we go see what else is in our boxes? So I'm trying to figure out if I want to do it all at once or like kind of do it in phases. I think I want to do the front table for sure, but I might save the kitchen for another day because I know that's going to be quite an undertaking because I always do all the elves on the lights. Um, so I think I'm going to go, oh my God, let's hear the <laughs> So I'm going to go through this bin and see what we have before I continue this. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I know, right? Go look at the, go look at the uh, mirror in the front. So question, babe. Yeah. Do I do everything like stockings and all of it this early, or should I just do like the decorations and add more of that closer to Christmas? Deck the halls. Deck the halls. Okay. I got instructed to deck the halls. Oh my gosh, I have so many little trees. So I decided that we are going to work on the front room today. Um, we're gonna hang stockings and do the front table and we'll kind of work our way towards the kitchen because that's gonna be the biggest decorations. Well, the tree, but we're not doing that quite yet. So, next step is to hang the stockings with care. Um, cheesy, I know, but whatever. Um, so we're gonna hang the stockings and get that off the list. Um, but uh, last year I got these stockings from the Hearth and Hand um, holiday collection and last year, I tried to find initials to put on the stockings, but I couldn't find all of our initials in the same ornament. So um, it didn't happen last year. But since I've been checking Target almost every day to see what new decorations they have, um, I was able to collect all four of our initials in ornaments. So got that handled. Let's see if I remember how I hung these last year. I kind of had to jerry rig them on with command hooks. And it kind of was like an act of God to get them to stay. They fell a few times. Cute! The stockings are hung! Oh, that makes me so happy. All right, time to work on the front table, but... Hitch! Hitch, look, that's your stocking. That's yours. He's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it! Okay, and then to finish off this area, I got this cute sign last year. It says North Pole, Workshop, Reindeer, Farm, and Post Office. So I just had it down here by the plant. And then I just filled this vase with some of the picks, I think they call them. It's like the, the stick version of a wreath um, or garland. You know exactly what I mean. Anyways, <laughs> I stuck those in here with a little bit of cranberry and some of these glitter things that I just had. And I just placed it right at the bottom just to kind of fill in this area. And it looks so cute. All right, so now the mirror is done. Stockings, little decor on the bottom. So now we're gonna focus on the entrance table. Look how bare this looks compared to that. Okay, well, let me take off the decor that I know I'm not gonna use. Okay, you guys will laugh at me, but I had to go watch my Christmas decorate with me from last year to see what I actually did on this entrance table. Because after looking at that box of stuff, I was like, what went where? I did not remember. And I grabbed a few new things for this table, so I wanted to get an idea of what I did last year, so that way I could figure it out. So we have the mailbox and the countdown, which are new. So I'm just gonna mess around for a minute and see how I wanna set this up. Oh, and I grabbed those two new trees by Threshold. It's like a really pretty natural white bark um, and it's flocked. So I grabbed the two sizes. I just thought it was really nice and wintry, but I liked that it was like a natural element as well, like the wood. So we grabbed those. So, so far I have those here. So thinking, white trees down there because it breaks up the greenery. Add a little greenery here. We have the candle, the countdown, the stack of books. I feel like 
that might work, my friends, because I really like how last year I kept this pretty simple and it looked so nice and clean. So even this is way busier than it was last year and I don't know if I want any more. I think that's it. Okay, so the entrance table is done. I think next we're gonna move on to decorating the TV stand. And yay, it's all coming together so nicely. Okay, I think I changed my mind. I think I like the white trees up here. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you like you like the vase with the greenery or the white trees. I'm gonna switch it real quick um, and I'll probably stare at it, but I'll let you know what I end up deciding. Okay, and then for the TV stand, I had gotten these two really cute frosted uh, cranberry trees from Target, and I think I'm just going to put this on the side of the TV, and then I have two more branch picks. Um, oh, they're called stems, I just saw the tag. Um, some places call them picks, some, I have no idea. So these have branch stems I'm going to put in this space over here. Ooh, I might need, hey, I might need another one to fill that up, hold on. Okay, so we have our stems, we're gonna add some cranberries to it. So there's some stems over here. I'll probably have a candle right there. I just gotta go, actually, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna switch a candle, but yeah, that looks so cute. We have the stems, we have the trees, keep it simple, add a candle, cool. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today. I have to go make dinner, so I will continue tomorrow because I have a lot of decorations on the floor that I just cannot have. I feel like in this first room, we made great progress. I have to figure out what I wanna do on the coffee table, so I'll probably stare at the decorations and mess around with it today. Um, and then tomorrow, we will continue in the dining area. So, oh, I'm so happy with how it's coming together. But I'm not gonna lie, this is a great start. So, I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so it's day two of decorating for Christmas. Hitch is at the groomers, and I just picked up my mom's dog. So this is Coco, he just got a little haircut. He looked like a little reindeer. He has such long legs. Hey, buddy. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to continue decorating for Christmas. Um, yesterday I did the living room and the entranceway. So today I wanna to focus on the dining area. Initially, I was gonna keep the dining table decorated for fall but Sawyer wants me to deck the halls and I kind of laughed because yesterday I put a poll up on Instagram asking if I should decorate everything and just go for it or do it in phases and everyone, literally everyone said do it all. So that's what we're gonna do. The first thing we're gonna do is take down all the fall and start with a fresh slate and then start creating my centerpiece. I can't even remember what I did last year, so it'll be fun to get creative again, and I actually have a little bit more decorations this year, so we'll see what we come up with. Um, also, we were driving around, and we were listening to Christmas music, and I was like, Sawyer, can we please stop and get a Starbucks? I haven't had Starbucks in so long, and their holiday drinks are out, and my favorite holiday drink, which might seem weird to some people, but it is a eggnog latte. So I'm definitely in the Christmas spirit, so. Let's do the dining room. Okay, so the table is clear. This year I grabbed a different table runner. This one is by Hearth and Hand and it's just like a red plaid. Um, I had a different one last year, but it ended up being a little bulky. I don't think our table was custom made to fit this room, so it's not like a average or like normal size table. It's a little longer. Um, so the table runner last year was a little small. So I thought I'd try a different one this year and this one's a little bit more flat. So it'll be easier to use when we have dinner parties or Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner, whatever. Um, the table runner won't get in the way of whoever's eating at the head of the table. So let's just lay this out and see how we do. Now, I realize this one is short and I actually wanted it that way. So that way it just kind of stops underneath the place settings. Um, I did this intentionally so that way something's not hanging off. Okay, now I'm gonna mess around with the decor that I have. I realized that some of my Christmas decor is at my mom's house. Um, she had stored it for us last year being that 
Um, we didn't have all the room for like some of the fragile stuff like inside the house. Um, we stored it in our shed. So I'm gonna have to get that box from her. So I think it has a few more of my like decor pieces, but I will start messing around with what I have here. Okay, so this seems to be all of the decor that I have here at this moment. I know I have a few more things at my mom's house, so I'll probably fill in a little bit. But based off what I can remember, this is kind of what was on this table last year. Um, so yeah, I'll just adjust it as I get more. But I think it looks so cute so far. So we have the centerpiece from Threshold. We have these mixture of little sticks and ornaments that I just shoved into this little vase. I have two faux trees um, and a cute little candle holder on that end. So yeah, okay, okay, so that's done. This might end up being a little much in here. I have these mittens from last year that's like a countdown. So, and I didn't like where I placed them last year. I just felt like it could be better. So I think I want to string it across from this window. So let's just test that out. Yeah, that kind of looks like a lot going on, huh? Okay, I might change that, but for now I'll stare at it for a minute. I might get used to it. Okay, I stared at it for all of like two minutes and it's too much. I don't like it. <laughs> we can do better than that, you know? Yeah, much better. <laughs> okay, next I have this cute little Merry Christmas sign from Target. And I thought it'd be cute to hang it right above on our right above these picture frames on our photo wall so i just have my little command hook and let's see yay okay there we go perfect it's center Whew. oh yeah that's cute it's subtle Okay, so we're moving on from the dining room. Um, I can't fully do the kitchen until I get that stuff for my mom's. So I just have a few other like random decor um, items that I can do in the meantime. So I have these little cranberry ball decorations um, and I hung them last year on the ends of all of my curtain rods. So I'm gonna do the same thing this year. And I just tied like black and white buffalo check ribbon to the top. So we are going to just Put these up. Okay, I just got a call that Hitch is done at the groomer, so I'm gonna quickly go grab him, and then I think I wanna try to hang the garland outside on the patio. So we'll attempt that once I get back. We're gonna hang garland. He's coming with me. Come on, y'all. So we're gonna take down the hay garland from, um, what season? Fall. And then I grabbed two more strands of the same garland that's around the mirror um, to see if it works outside. So we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. This might not work like I imagined. I might need another strand. So wait till you guys put them up and then we do the double. Yeah, like the shoop shoop. Oh, I think that might be too long. What do you mean? Okay, scratch this. Back to the drawing board. I think I found some flocked outside garland at Home Depot that just got really bright. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go inside. Abort mission. Abort, we're over it. So I'm gonna head over to my mom's to go grab my other box of decorations because I don't think I can get any more done until I have that box. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this first decorating for Christmas video right here because the next video will mainly be decorating the kitchen and that is a big undertaking. So I kind of think that is going to be its own video as well as just 
finished decorating in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I have decorated so far. I can't believe we're decorating this early, but I'm so happy about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. I talk about fashion beauty and I share our lives here in Hawaii. And I will be documenting the whole holiday season. So be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. That is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.